Hello there guys, Sarza Great here bringing you 4 vs 4 Pro Games So that's gonna be the biggest one I ever uploaded uh, Replay was sent in by Branca Leone, so thank you very much mate for battle replay And let's take a look at armies before slaughter will begin So we've got Scotland, commanded by Vasgate So that's uh, of course Gen Asas Genis and he's bringing Crush Army, because in high period you need to rush with Scotland. So I believe the rules were 6 to Cavalry, no gun L out and 12, uh, 5 key each player I believe. And this is of course high period. So he's bringing Crush, he's gonna outlank this poor Milan. Um, and uh, in the center we've got uh, Moors in the command of Branca Leone, so he's bringing typical uh, Moore's army, however, instead of bringing peasant crossbows, he brought some spears. Uh, interesting move, perhaps not bad at all, if it can pay off. And in the center, I want to say in the center we've got Criminal Copperkill, Leaf Legend of Total War, uh, and he's bringing his deadly army consisted of spears, peasant crossbows, Teutonic Knights, and Generous Bodyguard. This one is Imperial Knights, so it's kind of army split it to, uh, to two pieces, you can see that main core is consisted of spears, which are, uh, their task is to hold the line and uh, create chaos in enemy lines, while right flank will just smash the rest of forces. And finally, last but not least, we've got a uh, random called Mladenalex, whatever, a uh, pretty crap army, uh, however, well, good cavalry over here, and looks like we missed the uh, engagement between Doyarsons, Boyarsons and this cavalry, French cavalry, which went positively for Russians, I believe, there is much... Uh, there is much more uh, French tears than uh, Russians ones. But let's take a look at enemies. We've got uh, Russia, commanded by Russian king. And he's bringing Russia, which I said one second ago. He's bringing Drużyna, and this one the Boyar Sons, this one the Dor, overall solid Russian army. And in the center he's supported by <coughs> this guy called d one rt Bay i Kai, free r whatever. And he's bringing Spain army. Uh, pretty crap formation over here. He should send these guys, deploy these guys behind cavalry, always behind cavalry. <coughs> because his own formation is gonna mess up while uh, first strike will begin. Uh, and finally, we've got Sicily, commanded by uh, DS Ire Teutonic Elite. Uh, weird formation over here. Uh, Paris crossbows behind uh, <coughs> generous crossbows, spears, uh, chivalry knights, uh, overall I don't like it at all. And finally, last but not least, Sloveni in the command of Milan, in the Church of Milan. So Milan is pretty crap faction in uh, high period, you can ask me why, they got the best missiles, but their best heavy cavalry, Familia Duca, suffers from having no shields, see that? So they are much worse than any, than even Fido Knights, that's, that's the problem. But you can see that his infantry is much upgraded, however keep in mind that these guys have no morale, so... Let's see how it went, uh, let's put normal speed on, and looks like uh, Criminal Copacal is aggressively pushing through, However, he need to be careful because first volley of this Paris crossbow can easily wipe out a few of these Teutonic Knights, which won't be really useful at this point. It will be, of course, in the favor of Spain. And actually, uh, we are growing, by the way. Right now, I have 134 subscribers, so that's great. And right now, Milan went for charge against Berber Spears and Peasants. This worked pretty well, however, again, I don't know it was worth it. Because this guy is just uh, stuck here. 
and right now the Scotland is rushing and for some reason the formation of uh, Milan and uh, Sicily fucked up a little where's their cavalry? cavalry should do a frontal charge then it could be useful if this wouldn't work I mean this shall create a chaos in Scott's army but since uh, Sicily and Milan are playing passive uh, which I never do uh, unless I'm drunk uh, that's the battles over at this point because Scots, the spikes are gonna just butcher through all these uh, poor sergeants and this men on arms while Scots managed to surround them on the left flank so uh, I don't like to say that the game is over so early but in fact it really is there's no way how Sicily can save the day right now being outflanked and outnumbered right here uh, however, the Spain is trying to save the day, but Criminal Copper Kill um, is working in team with, with uh, Moors, and it's really beautiful to see teamwork uh, so rarely seen in multiplayer when I play with randoms. Look at this beautiful infantry fight. Let's let's zoom up a close, close shots. So Scots are breaking through the lines and uh, and pretty much you can see that balance of power is in favor of defenders because these guys are defenders which is kind of crazy but this is just because the French the France is waiting for strike and uh, Russian King set it up nice formation over here and they are uh, getting good volley on enemy cavalry however this is still not enough Spain infantry uh, finally found themselves in the battle but they can't fight effectively without cavalry support and without general nearby and general is I believe uh, somewhere but look at this entire Milan army routing right now and same goes for Sicily and there's little what Spain can do so as I said keep your cavalry in the front lines behind your missiles if you have any or behind buffer units such as um, peasants or religious fanatics see that just carnage and Scots ha have still lots of cavalry left and pretty much untouched uh, infantry so that is not good and all we have to do is wait for uh, criminal copy kill to strike right here supported by friends friends trying to do a glorious strike over here but this was this wasn't good move see that they lost uh, lots of troops in the process so don't expose your cavalry like this working team ask in team chat what's going on shall we attack right now shall we wait shall we start skirmish this is this is what uh, what uh, what has been uh, team games made for uh, kinda interesting how scots even with their me mediocre uh, fidel knights are able to beat knights of santiago uh, in my opinion there is no uh, there is no uh, rating units like these guys are best, these guys are worse. In high ranks, uh, when you play good players, there's something like tiers. There's high tier, there's medium tier, and there's low tier. So, putting it in a different way, the Scots have medium tier because the border horse are fine, but uh, they are light cavalry. But Fidel Knights, as uh, Fidel Knights, as uh, cavalry are medium cavalry, medium tier while Knights of Santiago are he high tier because they can take on easily uh, pretty much all heavy cavalry and then we can afford even Christian Guard so Brunsalone is trying to clean up this uh, this crap uh, Criminal Copy Kill is helping his ally and he's sending over the student Knights 
probably to strike over here. And uh, the reason why I don't like the situation at all because in my opinion the Russian king should keep his cavalry close over here. At least send them right now because see that even if the formation fucked up a little because this is common book, uh, same for uh, Roman medieval that formation just pet feeding just fuck up a little. But it's take a time for it's take a second to fix it. While Sicily, uh, Sicily is now finally done and he can't fight anymore. So I like this battle. I mean, the great teamwork from one side and pretty much uh, no lack of teamwork on the other side. But apparently there's something I repeat in all his commentaries that you need to apple flexible formation otherwise you are screwed. And I'm aware that I'm not the best player, I never say that I am, but I managed to learn the ba basics of this game, this freaking game, and I know what I'm doing, guys. Be with me that uh, I practiced a lot before attempting to teach others what they are doing wrong. And instead of saying that, let's say, Sicily sucks as player, I point out his mistakes. So I point what he did wrong without saying, uh, without insulting him personally, because this is something I hate. Everyone have right to uh, have a bad day, everyone have right to fail, sometimes you need luck, sometimes you don't have luck, and stuff like that, guys. Uh, criminal Copper Kill routed some uh, dismounted door in the process, however his guys are shaken and broken. That's interesting, but this one and the Paralites are ready to rescue and the battle is over at this point. France uh, lost all cover in the process, see that they just got shot by these Russians and looks like they are gonna get wrecked. Let's see. However, Drużyna isn't fine cavalry, they are again medium cavalry, medium tier. So this is one the Shivari Knights can hold on for a while. They are getting actually lots of kills. But Spears routed and his Nano Knights are about to die. Let's see how this this one and the Knights are doing against this. Uh, this one the Boyar Sons. Looks like they got the advantage. See that? Spain general is dead, uh, killed by Barter Horse. So Scottish revenge here. And as usual guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe because this is something I love and you know that I don't make these videos for, for myself because, excuse me, because I prefer to do a hammer and anvil instead of recording. Sneaky move right here, but uh, commonly used by all good players, by Brancalone, charging at... Uh, unprotected missiles at the flanks. While the Russian king managed to surround these friends, they should charge right now with the generous bodyguard at this at this unit. Will they do it? Yeah. That's that's good. So they could catch him out of the guard and perhaps kill him, which will should chaos chain her out in in Russian army. But as I said, game is over at this point. Beautiful carnage. Casualties are Pretty equal, which which is quite surprising for me. And team number one is going upper hand over this fight. So hope you enjoyed this battle where we learned how to play with teamwork and uh, why why we should all use uh, flexible formations. Uh, more videos coming tomorrow and today. So stay tuned, guys and. We'll see each other in the next one. Last general, Russian general is dead. Uh, a couple of French units came back, these guys. Bringing them in high period is risky move. They can't stand against Pavis. They can't stand against even uh, peasant crossbows. But keep in mind that this was random. Let's see, let's watch the last charge of Drużyna right here. Skirmish mode turn on, they are about to... Uh, Trying to keep a distance, but that's not gonna be enough. So that's it. 
So hope you enjoyed this biggest uh, pro games we ever made. And let me put triple speed at uh, because there's nothing interesting going on. There is actually a Milan general. Hang on, Milan. This is Milan general. I never seen him before. Let's see how many kills he can get. There's one kill. There's second. So he got two kills at all. So good game to other players. Thank you again, Brancalone, for sending me this replay. Regards to Sicily. And let's see MVP units for Morse. Uh, this one, the Christian Guard. 106 kills. And this one, the Christian Guard. 102 kills. So. Uh, in this battle, the infantry was much more important than cavalry on the enemy side. So again, thank you for being with me. Hope you you liked this pro games commentary, and have a nice day. Be well. Goodbye.